also stitch calculation preparation administration book um our school required us to get this book because this is where we're going to be practicing for our dosage and calculations exams that we do have coming up so i'm doing chapter two um because we have to turn in this little quiz at the end that is required um i have to turn that in on tuesday but you know i just wanted to come on here and show you guys how i'm doing it so basically as you guys can see here i did notes um you know i wrote whatever was on the book like any cheat sheets that they were saying and stuff like that um you know i did color code it because you know that is what works for me as you guys can see here measures of weight grams kilograms milligrams micro micrograms um what are some weights equivalents and then like this little quotation thing that they said and then basically like this little thing that i saw right here and right now i'm practicing how to convert from grams to milligrams as you guys can see here um basically how you convert from grams to milligrams you move the decimal places three places to the right as you guys can see here i really like how it gives you examples um as you guys can see here and like you know it tells you like what you're supposed to do but i feel like this is like just like i don't like the symbols i've never been good with the greater than or less than symbols i'm i'm just basically um you know moving moving the decimal three places to the right and i feel like that's easier versus you know just multiplying it by either a thousand or by dividing it by a thousand you know I feel like, okay, a little bit more confused and stuff like that, but, yeah, this is what I'm currently doing. I'm hoping, you know, to complete some of this, just so I can get this over with and start studying and prepping for week two. I know I have not updated you guys on how my first two days of school went, um, but I will be updating you guys soon on that. I have not forgotten you guys but yeah so that's basically i'm just going to be working on this and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>do this that i did i know i do have my planner and i know i do have my calendar but let me just turn this down i am watching nazi and kabari on youtube right now but i wanted to do a little to-do list you know just to make everything um more exciting to do you know with this whole quarantine I've been slacking a little bit, but, you know, I'm trying to stay motivated and do all my work that I can do. So, I decided, so I decided to do a to-do list, as you guys can see here. I broke it down to skills and fundamentals and the readings that I have to do in the back and stuff like that. So, as you guys can see here, for skills, I do have some ATIs that I have to watch this week. And basically, I included my last assignment. Um, it's called CAM Assignment. It's really interesting assignment. I have already read up through it on what's required. It's not really that bad. It's only 500 words that we have to do. Also, the ATIs are not really, you know, that hard to do. Um, you just have to, re like, watch the videos for 10 minutes and do the quizzes and we're done. So, it's not really, like, you know, so much, you know, to do on that. For fundamentals, as you guys can see here, I have my first med- My first med search. My first math um, practice that I do have to turn in. I was doing some of it last night, but you know, I sucked off and I didn't finish it. But as you guys can see here, I have a clinical discussion that I have to do. Um, and then I ended up just writing down whatever was due for the rest of May, just so you know I can keep myself organized since basically I only have two weeks um, of readings that I have to do. And then I'm guessing the following week we have our exams. 
um the first week of first week of june and you know i did want to update you guys because i have not updated you guys i'm hoping you guys don't mind my face or how i look i know i look crazy um but i wanted to update you guys on how it's been how my first basically let me just update you guys because i know i haven't really updated you guys on that i'm back to campus yes sounds crazy this whole quarantine thing there's her covid um you know a lot of schools closed down but my my campus um where we do our skills lab we do share with the university where i live at so they opened they were closed for like spring semester but recently they decided to open it and we are going to clinicals on that campus um so yeah basically you know it's crazy just because you know with like everything going on i know a lot of schools are all online and then basically a lot of people aren't going to clinicals um and stuff like that but yeah we're back to campus um to for just for skills and for lab lab um next week is our last week and we won't be in lab until like july something for um clinicals but yeah so i started um last week so last week was like you know my first official week of nursing school i didn't really vlog it um you know i had some stuff going on and i just <laughs> was not up to and like you know vlogging um so thursday i had a class i had my first fundamentals class that class basically was from 11 to 2 i did have si from 9 45 to 10 45 so i was basically sitting in my computer from 9 45 until two o'clock so you know i had like the worst headache after um but i really liked my si leader she was nicely she shared some notes i have to work on those too um but yeah our instructor for fundamentals lecture was amazing. I really enjoyed her. I feel like for fundamentals, I'm learning a little bit more compared to, you know, farm and health assessment. Um, but, you know, I really did not like health assessment that much. I feel like I just did not learn anything else at the head to toe assessments. And I probably, like, you know, get more into that, you know, once I film um, my how to study videos for farm and for health assessment, you know, don't think I forgot you guys, but I will be filming those videos for you guys. Those videos will probably be up until like around September or August. I know super late, but you know, yeah. So my class went really well for fundamentals. Um, really enjoyed the instructor. The PowerPoints were really detailed, which I liked. Our instructor gave us a lot of examples. She told us what we had to know and what we know we shouldn't really focus on so that was a good thing on friday is when i went to campus for skills so skills originally was from nine to four um but you know due to the whole quarantine where i live we're still in phase one so only 50 percent of the people can be on the campus so i got so a total of 50 people can be on the campus that i'm currently at so basically, all of our cohort got separated into our clinical groups, which is eight people. And for skills, um, we were supposed to go from nine to four, but they, we all end up getting certain times so that we have to attend skills. So you know, once you get into skills, I got there, how to be there 30 minutes early, just because you know they're doing temperature checks. They provide you with a mask and a brown bag, so you know you can wear that mask the whole entire time you're at the skills lab. Once you're in your car is when you take off your mask and you put it in the brown bag. Um, and that's your mask for like that entire week and stuff like that. I know it's crazy. Um, you know, like why not bring your own mask? But you know, that's how it's going to be like. We can only wear the mask that they provide us with. And you know, once we're in skills, you know, we have to wear the mask. Um, you have to be social distancing. Um, in our lab area basically our desks are like a little further apart from each other we have to sanitize everything our desk area where we sit any any equipment that we used 
but um you know I got there a little bit early well basically we got there a little bit early um and basically we started off doing vital signs learning how to put on the PPE gloves hairnet glasses how to take it off how to wash your hands we used a blue light and we used like a certain type of powder that we um, ended up putting on our hands and we just washed our hands and then with the black light we can see like the spots that we missed you know that was really interesting and then we just worked on vital signs and the two hours flew by quick so for clinical um i had a clinical on saturdays so we're only going to clinical um for two weeks then we're online and then sometime in july we go in to um we go back to the campus to do our simulations i'll talk probably more about simulations um you know later on but um for lab i was there a little bit later like really late in the afternoon the good thing is there wasn't really you know that much people on campus when i went you know which was like you know good um you know they follow the protocol we did in line we got screened for our temperature um they had like a list of like who goes in like who's allowed to go in and then basically you know we had to sanitize our hands put on our mask and stuff like that um so for clinical it was a little bit different um uh, compared to you know skills skills for clinical we were placed in where you have like you know all the beds and mannequins and stuff like that and, you know i was excited um, you know because the scenario was like you know a little bit different so we did end up you know learning how to make beds it was basic cna work but i feel like it was like one semester of cna into two hours so for clinical we are there only for two hours also so you know that's the downside of uh, versus being there for like you know a couple hours and learning how to like really do like all the all these basic stuff all these basic cna stuff because you know once we finish this class like we can test out to become a cna um so we only learned how to make a bed um we only learned how to make a bed we learned how to move a patient how to work the bed and that was basically it um it wasn't really like you know so much of it and learn how to do a bedpan but like not like the, really like the proper way that you learn in the cna course so for me personally since i have already um already you know done the cna course if any of you guys are new to my channel um so i like you know have an idea of like how you're supposed to do some kind of stuff and you know going in on saturday it was a little bit different just because you know we learned the fast fast way of learning like you know how to make a bed how to move a patient and stuff like that and i know they probably expect us to, like you know to know all of these stuff but you know some people don't even have like basically a lot of people don't really like you know have experience medical experience and it's like the first time i know some of my classmates that i was with they were asking questions because they didn't really know how to do certain things and you know it's different and you know for me personally i wish they would have like you know given us more time to go over these basic cna stuff because you know i know once we start working like we have to know those basic stuff because you know we're not gonna have a cna with us all the time and it kind of makes sense when like you know cna's brag that aren't rns don't really know how to do certain stuff and expect the cna to do everything like it kind of like you know makes sense because in nursing school they really don't teach you the basic stuff that you should know um, like, you know, the basic stuff of, like, the CNA role, and, you know, they're only more worried about the RN role, and I feel like, you know, they should, like, take some time in to properly teach the students how to do, like, everything that is required, you know, to be a CNA, um, but, you know, let me know down below for those that are in nursing school how it was for you, um, if you really learned in depth, um, like, the CNA stuff, or did you guys just get like a um fast version of how to do certain things um so i'm glad and if any of you guys are going to be going into nursing school i would recommend for you guys to take a cna course even if it's not required by your school i would just recommend it just so you guys can like 
understand of like you know what i'm trying to say probably a lot of people that have never took an cna course probably don't even know what i'm talking about. i'm gonna see an a course and they were teaching us how to do a bed or how to rotate a patient it was different you know videos don't really like you know watching videos it's not really the same as when you like you know you're doing practice so yeah i just wanted to come on here and like like let you guys know how my clinicals went but um yeah this week we do have our first goose check off it's mine is on saturday so when i'm supposed to be going in for clinicals um so we're going to be checked off on our vital signs and you know i really don't really like i'm struggling on doing vital signs but i think it's mostly going to be more like identifying the different pulses and trying to figure out where all the pulses are even though like i kind of know where they're at but like you know practicing the pulses if that makes sense and trying to review up on vital signs so yeah right now i'm just going to be doing some notes i did end up um finishing doing my med math and personally i feel like they should have taught us how to do these things i'm hoping our si leader like teaches us how to do these med math problems because i'm just going off of a book and i know a lot of people are probably going to be like oh well there's youtube and stuff but yeah but you know i'm paying i'm paying for nursing school so like aren't they supposed to like show us and stuff like that i know at the community college they had a separate class to learn how to do care plans and med math and you know i feel like for this school it was going to be the same but it's different basically we have to learn learn everything on our own and you know kind of makes sense but yeah i'm done rambling just wanted to update you guys on how my first week of nursing school went i know the clips are a little bit different and i'm sorry if my footage is like all over the place but that's going that's how it's going to be i'm trying to switch up my my um my footage and my clips upset of me talking all the time i'm just i'm probably just going to be including clips of me doing notes and studying and stuff like that and of me less less talking so let me know down below if you guys kind of like you know like it where i'm just gonna be including more clips or if you guys want me to be talking and giving you guys like a run through of like how my how my weeks go um you know just let me know down below in the comments and you know we'll go from there but yeah so that's basically all my little updates on how school went and if i do have any new updates regarding school or if we go back to clinicals you guys um i'll keep you guys updated so i'll see you guys in my next clip if not i'll see you guys in my next video